Hey everyone, if you're already here, you likely already know what Fluid is. It is a virtual workstation that is available wherever you go. It essentially turns your Quest 3 into your laptop and workstation setup, so you don't need virtual desktop or something that way. But Fluid designed a facial interface of their own to give you a, a better mixed reality experience. And so that is this. This is their version 12. Um, they're still always working, tweaking, and responding to feedback. Um, I just have it here in black and white. I'm going to use the white for the installation guide because it's easier to see versus the, uh, the black over here. Um, but essentially this replaces the facial interface which leaves the sides open for a better mixed reality experience. So this is with the stock strap and everything here. Let's just first go through how to install the pad. So the pad you do have to pick up separately. You can get it from Amazon. I will leave links uh, in this video. Uh, there's also links on the Etsy listing um, and everything there. On where to get the pad, there is also an option to purchase the pad, which is sold at about cost after Etsy fees. You're still better to get the pad on your own if you can, but some people can't in other countries. So to install, it's pretty simple. The adapter itself has these two prongs up top, and you have the two prongs here. So to start, you want to start with one, and I kind of start here at the center, um, so you can see here. Push that in right there, so that locks in. Then I go here. I make sure that my bottom tabs are lined up right there, and then I push this side down and in, and there you go. This is now installed. It's in there firmly, and this is ready to install onto the headset. So I've got the stock strap here. I'm going to set this aside. You want to take the face plate off. And I'm going to also show this with a Bobo and with an Elite style strap. But you won't need this anymore. So set that aside. And then here's the, the Quest 3. And so the adapter slides in between the plastic here and the rubbery top here. And you slide that in, and you want to leave your strap, if it's long enough, attached to this front prong. This bar is only for shorter Velcro straps, like on a Bobo or something that way, where you need to still be able to connect. Generally, you want to connect to the original Quest 3 um, strap location. So this just slides in like that. That's it. It's installed. And so now you can see it's fully open on the edges here. You've got the pad. Um, and I'm going to switch cameras here so we can actually see it installed. Okay, so got the Quest stock strap. We're going to put this on here. I don't need those. And just like that, I've converted my stock strap here into an open sides view. So you can look um, and it's good to go. So it just uses the pad here. So this works actually very well with the stock strap. but if you have an elite strap or something that way, you can use that with it as well. So we're just going to take this off of here. I'm going to switch our camera back. And so now, if we didn't have a stock strap, I have here a high blocks elite style strap. And so again, because we've got the room for it, we want to attach to there first, connect up your strap, and then install your adapter, which again just slides in like so, and there we are. And so now we'll go back to the head strap here. And so again, this is now with an elite strap. And you'll want to make sure you get it adjusted where you'd like it. And so now you've got, again, the same open air concept here. You can adjust the arms until you get it where you want it. And now you're good to go. So it can work with elite straps, but it can also work with a Bobo strap. So let's go back again right here. Take that off of there. Come on. There we go. Pop that off. Pop that off. 
Now in this case, with the Bobo, it's already a halo strap. So you could use just the Bobo without the extra padding. But if you wanted to still use the fluid to give a little more um, stability, um, you can install the fluid on, just like that. So again, it installs on. And then you've got the little loop here, which is designed for the shorter Velcro. Now, when picking this up, you, the Bobo already is connected to the arm. So you're good. It's not going to mess with the adapter at all. So now let's again switch this right back over. And there we go. So now I'm using the Halo strap. Again, still fully open sides here with the fluid adapter, which blocks the light on the top, which is nice. Um, so any light bleed from the top, but I've got the open sides. So that is how you can use this adapter with three different styles of headsets. Um, and let's just take a look. You can find if you, the file is available for free on uh, Thingiverse, I'll leave a link. So if you have a 3D printer, you can print your own. But if you don't, they, um, Fluid did set up an Etsy shop where you can purchase the adapter or the adapter with the pad. Um, the costs cover the production person, myself, Mr. Tass, um, to install it. Um, and so, yeah, you can pick a bunch of different colors. If you like, some colors allow more light in through the top. That's why most people end up going with black. Um, but there are color options. And there's uh, adapter only for $15 or plus shipping or the adapter with the pad for 40 because the pad itself will cost you 20 plus odd dollars. Um, and then after Etsy fees um, and you can find the pad on Amazon. Um, currently using the VR master forehead cushion pad. You can see it's $20 um, reviews Lumix. The pad is a little thin. So if you have a way to augment it to a thicker pad, that might give you a little more comfort. Um, but you can get that off of Amazon. Fluid's website, fluid.so. You can also go to fluid.discord or uh, discord.fluid.so um, for their Discord site with all the information. And you can get the app for free on Meta um, on App Lab. And it's Fluid. Um, and again, it just gives you a way to use your Quest as your laptop, essentially. You can have a bunch of different windows if you've seen the little video there on the right. So hopefully this helps with the installation um, and which areas to use. And if you have any questions, uh, hit up the devs on uh, the Discord site for Fluid or check out the website fluid.so. Thanks.